we need to really change our focus. At the, at the moment, we're spending most of our time um, uh, with some success learning from uh, when things go wrong. So we do root cause analysis uh, or, and we try and uh, learn from that process. We spend almost no time at all learning from our successes. Uh, and uh, so we need to look at the whole curve is what I'm saying. And I certainly believe that as a, a mea culpa here, as a former healthcare system chief executive, I spent a lot of my time at, uh, at one end of the performance curve, uh, identifying the bad apples. Uh, and with hindsight, I really wish I'd spent more time tending to the whole orchard. Um, because you learn something from uh, our failures. And we, I'm, not, I'm not saying for a second that we should stop learning from what goes wrong. But we need to complement that with a much better understanding of why is it that you know, so often we deliver excellent care, safe care to the patients that we serve, and what can we learn from what's going right? So that's my first um, prompt to us, is let's start to learn from uh, every incident, from the whole curve. And a second thing I've been talking a, a, a lot about recently is this idea that um, we need to be more proactive and less responsive. And I, 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 I've borrowed this, uh, you'll see through the slide, I've been looking outside healthcare for some of these solutions. And if you look at how people are thinking about evolving their safety culture in other industries, uh, and you honestly plotted the vast majority of healthcare systems on this map, uh, I, I think if we got to the middle of that progression, we'd, we'd be doing pretty well. That's where our high performing systems might be. Uh, and that gives us room for improvement. That gives us space to get to, um, to genuinely proactive um, responses to safety challenges, the safety challenges that Don outlined. That gives us a real opportunity to really bake this into our systems. Um, so that m move towards proactivity, I think, is really important. My, ca my colleague, Carol Harridan, has a lovely way of describing this. I really like Carol's analysis here. Because she, what she says is that at the moment we spend a lot of our time um, counting the number of, of times that people fall through the ice. And where we need to move to is measuring the thickness of the ice. Um, so l let's figure out, um, let's think more about risk and, uh, and look ahead to some of um, the, the guidance we can give people about how to minimize that risk.